Greetings, fellow Avengers. Welcome back to Duskers Weekly Challenge for week number 28 of 2020. I'm hoping this is gonna be a, that one stop shop thing for Duskers uh, strip, strip. I was about to say tips and strategy, but I guess you can say it as strip. No, 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 it's gonna be like a totally different English uh, term. Yeah, I decided to come back to this and. Apparently, people start to apply what Dano knows about uh, getting higher score in weekly challenge instead of people with uh, by getting 4,000 and finishing uh, the weekly pretty much like that. Maybe one of the ways is because Deskers weekly can be buggy in some aspect because uh, at some random occasion, Stargate can just not be visited, especially if you come under the Stargate that, um, no, rather a ship that has the connecting name with the Stargate, which can be a thing, unfortunately. And one of the ways is that, uh, at least from my experience, your keyboard somewhat just doesn't respond while you swapping your drone with something, upgrade something. It just can occur and the game just freezes or something. I mean, I think the game's still going on, but I just cannot do anything else. Even escaping uh, to pause the game doesn't help, so I just have to had to force close it. I think that's what makes it uh, pretty much encouraging some dedicated players to go back to the weekly uh, compared to the uh, their uh, daily uh, counterpart, where it's just. Be basically that one shot of a derelict and just to uh, that turn derelict with no longer result or something but the reason why I'm recording this is because it has pretty much the identical uh, strategy more or less with the campaign except this one is pretty uh, pretty short compared to the campaign itself I'm just gonna show you right away Alright, so uh, here we are in one of the systems with uh, Fuel Depot D, Duck Strike as one of our starting uh, derelict with only one vegetation type. We're gonna go this through uh, as we look around uh, the galaxy first. Uh, so this is the circle of our current reach. Uh, this is pipe system. This is sentry system. We're currently at Eclid system. This one has, oh, this is gonna be a uh, seemingly uh, easy universe compared to uh, some other you know, weekly that I did in the past. Mm, this one's quarantined, so we're not gonna visit this one anytime soon, but I think we're just gonna uh, park ourselves in here and get ourselves some. Uh, pretty much the shortest route to reach the our next target for example if we want to go here and then here and then uh, someplace else that doesn't really um, cost ourselves too much of a propulsion fuel if we go there or something so you know we start with two scraps uh, six propulsion fuel with two jump cells we're currently at salvage a but with the name of justice rider it's been that kind of um, normal setup for your starting uh, ship name, basically. And then for the drone upgrades, we have motion. Uh, pretty much kind of unlikely of a thing for you to stick with unless you're really getting used to use motion. Um, we have four starting upgrades, and the the game randomizes your starting up. Uh, your explore upgrade. It can be sensor, lure, and stealth. Personally, I prefer stealth uh, as I do with jury rigged. Um, just basically, you can just go inside that room uh, as long as it's not swarmed and just really visit what infestation that uh, the next room holds and such and such. Uh, I'm just gonna show it um, later if we get stealth later on in mission 
So casually, in my personal reach of tip, I prefer to use the lowest storage bay uh, for my explore, explore drone for the sake of no more than uh, challenge purpose. Yeah, that's it really. I just prefer to keep the money drone, which is this drone with 120 drone HP in the docking bay and I will just uh, pull him out unless necessary. I'm not gonna name my drones as of yet, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna come later. But for now, I'm just gonna go around this uh, galaxies first. Also, in weekly, you don't have multiple universes, so you will be given this one universe, multiple galaxy, and eventually you will only have one stargate that you gotta go through for extra 1k points eventually. Uh, the scoring in the weekly is actually kind of the same as the daily challenge if you've seen my daily runs except for scrap you only get uh, only one points for scrap instead of uh, 20 daily challenge I think that was one of the updates that occurred in the early access before it uh, got officially released from the early access I think that's yeah yeah I think so mm. Yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna explain the allies much later. Mm, and we're just gonna visit Duck Strike by pressing B. And then I think all the set is good. Oh, yeah, also, you may as well want to prefer to hold your interface instead of uh, putting it into your standalone or standalone drone. Because once you find the interface and you can power uh, that terminal in that chip, yeah, just basically pretty much it, really. Um, later on, interface will be pretty much kind of uh, worthwhile to be put in the inventory, as I will explain much later. Alright, we know it's a good whole integrity, stable age, duck strike, field depot D, one infestation type. Alright, so, um, this is not mandatory to be had, but I tend to play this game on a pretty much low setting. Uh, setting my far view with simple, quality medium, with a few clutter. And uh, you can see I'm using the patch 20, uh, plastic void by the way. Um, unfortunately, this unofficial patch is for Steam Windows. Uh, you can use mm, Linux uh, version, but uh, I'd seen the Lone Fellow player mention that it will not be as clear. It will really affect how the game runs basically in uh, that certain Linux and Mac I have no idea I'm very sorry mm, I'll usually type status but you already know that okay so I will usually use uh, 3 for my drone in the daily but uh, this time I'm gonna use 3 key before we go I'm gonna check my last a bit so the most that I tend to use is to go Instead of begin, because sometimes uh, I had an issue back then where my uh, first type letter would not register and it would instead uh, only press E, and you would even you would actually usually can get a get a command to auto complete themselves as long as you type the first um, to. What is it? The first two letters. For example, if you want to type interface, yeah, just type I N and then T and then it will auto-complete itself. Pretty much like that. Pretty much same with motion, but I'm not gonna use it. Because it has quite a little bit of charge. I'm not gonna use it. Alright, um back to my Elias. Uh, I tend to use teleport and transport separately. I used to combine both of these. But uh, as I learned in weekly challenge, I tend to mm, quote unquote accidentally use my teleport while well, I didn't mean to use the teleport and vice versa. Uh, in case I want to save the either the transport usage or the teleport usage in the mission, because an upgrade in the mission would uh, increase their chance to have a 
failure probability like for example i'm swapping my uh, turns here you can see the failure probability here but since we're all still having a new uh all new upgrades uh, the failure probability is not yet to get raised i'm just gonna uh show you all later uh for the failure probability uh after we finish with this mission so yeah one investigation type we're just gonna go we're gonna start the mission in 10 30 of this video And I forgot to swap my uh, go because I usually again use uh, turn three instead of turn one for my uh, explore explore drone. <laughs> All right, got our first scrap, got our first fuel too. But uh, mm, two jump fuels and stuff. That's very nice. I'll usually either use decimate or XC, but this time we're just gonna use XC to have. Um, are you you're getting survey or ship scan and decimate either for you to activate for me to activate the defense? I would also usually prefer myself not to use my uh, any of the upgrades as long as it's not uh, much of a need. Because for example, you will usually just use motion and then you will see. Uh, yeah, you will just uh, you just usually use the motion like normal. Turns out this mission is a very simple one, not much to be see here. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get out from here. I'll usually use out when I put my gather on uh, turn three, but since it's turn one, I'm just gonna O O T like this. You can kind of briefly see the gather list and then the time, but uh, since we're playing weekly, it will usually show you this stat like right, like right here. You already see this in the campaign if you have played the campaign. So we gathered uh, one propulsion fuel, two jump fuels. Very nice. Um, I said very nice because there are some of the times where you will have fuel, fuel scarcity in that universe. You're the weekly is currently uh, occur that for scrap um, of course what can you expect in this mission as you can see I didn't use my motion at all so we're just gonna look at the drone uh, fair probability for motion is pretty much zero and then the interface I only used it once but uh, the fair probability immediately raised there to 4% uh, as of gather and generator, they tend to only increase the failure probability by, uh, I think it's either something around 1-2% to 2 But for casual upgrades like uh, interface, motion, basically other than gather and generator, they could increase to pretty much 3-6% to 6 I think If I recall correctly, speed boost tends to be the one with the um, with the highest one, I think, like in default, it could reach to five to six percent of uh, fairly probability per uh, derelict's use. And by then, um, they just act, uh, they just passively, they're just passively used in the derelict as long as you equip that uh, speed boost in your drone. So you gotta be careful not to want to break it. All right, so that's. Uh, Duck strike down. We're gonna go to. Hmm. I don't want to go here, despite it being private B, a ship that I really like actually. Actually, before we go through, we're just gonna check if we have a uh, transporter missions. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about uh, outpost rather because in outpost it's pretty much ideal for you to want to commandeer a military ship because there can be some outposts where you're gonna require yourself a military ship like military clearance required and then of course you're gonna need transporter in which we're really needing one like pretty much right now actually 
Okay, I'm still unsure where I want to go first because if I want to go here... Actually, I think I want to go here. And then after that I want to go here and then there. I'm mostly prioritizing the routes as in... Uh, how many propulsion fuel that I will eventually waste uh, once I visit... Once I'm uh, temporarily done finishing on visiting the system, basically. With six propulsion fuel and two of each um, destination movement, you can pretty much visit uh, three derelicts with uh, two propulsion fuel required at best. At the same time, I want to go here as well, but that's gonna be pretty much later on because I only have six scraps now, and uh, yeah, not much to be. Not much for me to either sell stuff or buy stuff because, yeah, six scrap. I'm just gonna decide later as I will attempt to conquer Muteki A with two infestation type. Okay, so Muteki A will usually have either five or seven propulsion fuel, and I ideally want to commandeer a ship that has higher uh, charge of propulsion fuel despite their low scrap capacity, something but 42, and uh, this salvage A has 50 scrap capacity. Uh, normally people, I think, will avoid this kind of trick, but uh, it's been pretty much helping me in the long run, so it's pretty much up to, up to you in this one, really. Mm, no ship upgrade, because uh, fuel depot and space station will not, and even outpost will not have uh, ship upgrades lingering around their ship basically. So we're gonna visit this one. Uh, Muteki A is pretty much known for having three or four um, ship slots rather. Uh, I think it will be three uh, free to swap ship slots and you can sometimes even have one that's already occupied with permanent ship upgrade. It can be something else in uh, Muteki A, but in Medical A, for example, it's pretty much known that it would have uh, decontaminate permanent ship upgrade. <coughs> Let me grab my coffee for a bit. Mm. Uh, normally, I visit every single derelict unless I'm pretty much una unable to, for example, uh, the lack of jump cell and such, or I'm just being straight up lazy uh, to finish the mission. But uh, I'm just gonna try because it's already it's Wednesday, right? Okay, it's still Wednesday. Uh, the challenge will end in my Sunday. I'm currently at GMT plus seven mm, for the time zone. All right, enough talking. We're gonna visit uh, Misfit Muteki A. Not much for uh, drone slop, uh, drone upgrade management as of now, so we're just gonna roll with all these uh, missions until it seems to be necessary later on. Like, for example, if you want to add shield or uh, any offense upgrade, if you want to kill sentry, that is. Hmm, so there is a room that's already. Get refilled. I don't want to check here in a sense. Let's take AV2, right? So, let me show you something about this trick right here. So, what I'm planning right here is to just park in A3, and if we have Leaper in room 2, it's gonna go towards uh, this position immediately without uh, it waiting basically. We're gonna start at 1940 and then you can set your own timer because I uh, I will tell you something about it later on. If there's nothing moving from that center of room, that means this room is empty or 
pretty much slime. Oh, we have a drone there. We're gonna visit that pretty much after this. If we get our priorities okay, that is. Oh, it's slime. Yep. Pretty much glad to visit this room first, eh? Yeah, the console can be dragged, by the way. Just to get a bit of a clearance, and I keep forgetting to edit my Elias to have the go function to work on drone 1 and not drone 3. Hmm, we have that uh, open door. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be risky. If it's sleeper, it will uh, already move here. Alright, we're still doing good so far. Gotta keep in mind with two minutes. Because at that point, slime will start to spawn somewhere. Mm. This room can be useful to. Uh, Pay the science spawn, but the issue is I still have yet to get an access to an interface that powers this uh, ship defense in room 4. And fun fact, if you park your drone here, the slime will not detect you. Let alone leaving you damage or something. Alright, time show is more than 2 minutes already and we're good to go basically. It's pretty much like kind of a something like a cycle Ooh, all right swarm and slime they are easy combination sentry will not attack you unless you're in their uh, vision and that's the ship defense do we have ship scanners over no we don't have Uh, a bit of a fact as well, you can check with my uh, allies there. XC activates interface along with ship scan and survey. Decimate activates interface along with uh, defense command. Because I just don't have much of a time to <laughs> type them like uh, ship scan and then survey. Yeah, you just gotta use the allies because we all love allies in Duskers. Eh, most of us, I believe. Okay, time shows 340. Okay, we want to go back now. Oh, that's T12 failing. Crap. But it's okay, we still have more other interfaces that we can work with. Hopefully we get a slime spawn and we do get them in 4 minutes. The issue is I gotta dock at A2 because uh, it pretty much blocks T24 and we don't have an access to T12 because the door just failed on us. We're just gonna go to room 5 by a uh, fire D3 2018. And after this, we still have to go to the next generators because this uh, ship has a medium hull integrity. Hmm. Wait, wait, 16. Also, one other tip do not auto navigate in a room in a ship with slime unless you're pretty much sure that uh, the room you're currently in is pretty much uh, free from infestation sensor is really good at it by the way so yeah hmm all right full access friend 
Oh yeah, this drone has extra gather, in which you definitely want to save it. No, not vacuum. Back one. This is really one of the times where you want to go back to your ducky bay because Radiance and League is going to come soon. Uh, with medium and poor hold integrity, you can start to listen to you the first uh, creek in the drone view at uh, 550. And we pretty much passed 550 now, so there's pretty much no radiation leak coming soon. Wow, I'm spoiling all this freaking mm, life hacks for realsies, Jesus. But yeah, that's pretty much it from what I can find, really. So yeah, you really want to pay attention to what I've been s I've been saying for the past few uh, 26 minutes. Also, popping doors pretty much uh, helpful for you to see the next room structure uh, without you pretty much visiting that room. If it works, because sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and, and until today, I still have no idea what caused it. Oh, really? The bar defense room? Something. By the lack of power chip defense, I'm talking about the one that you cannot really do in this part of the ship. But we got all of them in our semantic view, really. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, also, uh, have we gotten this, uh, the fuel? Oh, we have. I just have you to check the info on uh, how many fuel capacity does it have. In which I'm gonna check pretty much after this later. Eight minutes. How slime? Slime's going okay. Very nice. I'm just gonna kill it later because it's pretty much uh, at front of A2 and I don't have an access to. Uh, go back to uh, room 3 because I closed that uh, door leading to that room 3 <laughs> but we will get that one killed eventually oh no oh no oh no well I don't have any tools to deal with that slime right there sadly so I'm just gonna bail right there But, good news is, this is a remote power. Very nice. That we can tell as well from the... How uh, this ship upgrade looks, basically. Yikes! So much for missing that room 18, really. But we're gonna find it, uh, eventually. If we want to... Come under this ship, that is. It depends on this fuel. It has six, actually, pretty nice. Because apparently Moteki can also have six uh, P fuel, even in Moteki A. <laughs> yeah, I really want to find that room with the slime there. Not two, but one. Alright. I think all we have to do is to page one more slime and we're just pretty much out of uh, slime spawn. Because every derelict you visit, they, uh, slime can spawn three times. And let's not talk about the percentages because uh, it can be pretty complex. I'm as well just gonna show y'all the 
screenshot of what the Kofoid said in the Discord or something about the, the slime percentages or something. But we're all out from the slime spawn, which is very nice. Do we have other ship upgrade that we need to have? Because I have yet to check uh, room 18 fully. Hmm. Okay, don't one's not gonna crash at that room with the slime. Not that it can. So this is gonna be a bit of a painful process to uh, find that room 18. The issue is we're pretty much nearing 1140 where you will probably be able to hear the crackling sound. Nah, that means no radiation leak at this minute. Okay, we're pretty much out of sun spawn, so we can just basically free to roam around this uh, ship right here and not don't need to worry about the slime timer. Yeah, we call it slime timer. I keep forgetting about that. We, but we still do have random chances of asteroid like this, basically. All right. I'm basically on the way to find uh, that room 18. Uh, this asteroid's gonna hit in... Uh, sorry. So the time take at 12 minutes, it's gonna hit room 19 in... Uh, 15 minutes and 49 seconds. You may as well get your own uh, timer here because uh, I'm personally using. Oh, oh, all right. That changes things. I want to come under the ship because. All oh, right, I need to close that A three. <laughs> because if one of your airlocks is pretty much blown out like that, uh, you cannot come under the ship if I recall correctly. Yeah, and you just really kind of commandeer the ship like that. And now we can commandeer. Yep, that uh, vacuum is pretty much sealed. We even have a uh, broker root power that we can uh, trade for scraps in auto trades. Yeah, we're in for this commandeer. Because we get the transporter early and we will want to use that in and install that in every ship that we want to visit except uh, C and D class because they can delete infestations and you don't want your sentry to get deleted basically. I don't know how transporter can delete infestations, it, it just tends to happen because when you visit a derelict and you install a transporter. Uh, ship upgrade you will get at minimum two transport uh, signals in uh, any derelicts that you visit and then that also counts the starting room that can have an open door adjacent to that starting room which means it's also free prefer from the infestations right so if it's something like uh, five or six rooms um, there is a possibility that uh, it can delete one of the infestations in case you have, for example, three or four infestation type. But uh, even then, it can even delete an infestation even though it has only one infestation type in that ship. Because I have that, uh, I have someone who uh, commented commented about that in the Discord, mm. which is pretty weird, really. So uh, I'm just gonna wrap this episode by uh, visiting this auto trade right here and just gonna visit it right here. 
I think after this, I'm just gonna visit. Uh, actually, if this auto trade has uh, quarantine bypass, not really, but it has an extra transport that I definitely want to take. And uh, some stuff like uh, oh, we definitely want the shield, baby. Um, price also essential. I would also want to get uh, the gather and generator as well, um, simply because I just want to get myself some uh, secondaries in case the gather and generator will fail in the next uh, 13 derelicts to be visited at, basically. Uh, normally you want to avoid on getting your upgrades to turn to red like this, but if you're pretty much confident for uh, your upgrades like that's really your only upgrades to be had and you're confident that you still have backup for your upgrades for example like uh, if this gather will fail eventually uh, this one rather uh, and you want it to turn it red I'm gonna assume it's all fine uh, but it really depends on all the strategies you have in the world because um, um, I'm just living in a strategy where having more backups of things will uh, save you more scraps basically. That also includes not getting damaged by any infestation and so far I still have yet to use my motion. Uh, I will just only use my um, explore upgrade when it deems necessary basically. For example when you encounter some open doors or something in which it can, it will be prevented thanks to the transporter later on. Mm, I mean, open doors that is not in your starting room, basically. Hmm, do I want that lure? I really want that lure actually because um, personal tier list for explore upgrade is that lure is pretty much placed second before stealth for the first place, and then sensor would be at third and such and such but lure can also be easily placed in third place if uh, because uh, it just pretty much attracts swarm attacking your the door that the, your uh, drone with lure is currently in and then you put the lure there hmm i think it's gonna leave my set as is or rather i would just sell this lure at uh, this motion and trade with the lure but the lure uh, doesn't really have that much of a charge there so I'm gonna have to get myself more scraps to fuel it up even which is gonna make it a bit little, a little bit risky I don't need the root power I'm just gonna have to put it there but we do get the root power from this uh, auto trade right here so I'm just gonna put it like that yeah I'm just gonna be fine with the set really I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I will need all this uh, stuff once I get more scraps to be had later on so yeah uh, now we're pretty much down with zero scrap, and I'm just gonna wrap this first episode right here. Uh, feel free to leave comments, I always read them, and will eventually reply them if it is necessary, and well, it contains uh, important questions that uh, you, you have in mind when watching this video. I do feel like I explain uh, too much, and... Uh, in this video and at random times I will even pause a lot when I'm struggling with kind of words that I want to go through so yeah excuse my uh, English as my uh, second language <laughs> all right so um, the last thing that I want to do is to equip the transporter I'm not sure if I want to equip a remote and route uh, we don't have that essential well I mean not yet at least so yeah I'm gonna decide where to go on the next uh, video thanks for watching again feel free to leave the comment and uh, yeah cheers